video, I'll be showing you how to set up your Kyocera copier to scan to your computer on a shared folder we're going to create. Now I'm going to try to go a little fast on this. So since it is a video and you could always pause it and rewind it or so forth. So there's no need to go slow. Uh, so uh, let's get started. First thing you need to do is make sure that your Kyocera copier is on your network and you know the IP address of your copier. If you haven't done that yet, uh, look in the description. You will see a tutorial, a link to a tutorial video to show you how to do that. Okay. So assuming that you have your machine on the network and you know the IP address, let's get started. First thing you're going to do is create a user on your computer. There are several ways to get to that section. You could either type in add user and look for add, add or remove users. We want to get to this section here add someone else to this PC. Now, if you can, if you can locate it here, you could always find it by going to control, C-O-N, look for control panel, select user accounts, user accounts again, manage another account, add a new PC or add a new user to this PC and we're back to that same screen. Okay, so I'm gonna stay right here, add someone else to this PC. Select, I don't have the person sign in information. Click on add the user without a Microsoft account. Unless you want to add one, I, I don't see why, but it's up to you. Uh, now, name what uh, name the user, whatever you like. I like to name it the name of the copier. That way I know what it's, who this user is for. Password, type in any password you want. Make sure you remember it. Now, unfortunately, you have to answer these silly questions here. So um, there's only three of them. What's your first pet's name? I'm just going to put Waldo. What city were you born? I'm just going to put Costa Mesa. And again, the uh, last one is childhood nickname. I'm just going to put Waldo. That wasn't my nickname, by the way. Okay, so now that we've done that, uh, Kyocera is here, so we can close the screen, close this, and now we're going to create a folder uh, where we want our scan to go to. I like to put it on the main drive of the computer, the, the main hard drive. So uh, I'm gonna right click on the yellow, yellow folder here, go to File Explorer, or you could just type in File Explorer here. Let me move this over here. And now I'm gonna look for the main drive, uh, my main drive C, I got a couple of drives here, but usually your main drive is got the letter C on it. Click on that and uh, select new folder. You can see here, if it's not here, you can right click anywhere and create, uh, just select new and folder. So now name the folder, whatever you want. I'm gonna name it Kyocera Scans. Okay, now you're gonna right click on the folder, go to properties, sharing share and now we're going to select a drop down here and look for the user we created for this computer Kyocera add that's very important you don't skip this step okay you got to select a down arrow here and put and select read and write you got to give it permission to write to the folder otherwise you're not going to be able to scan to it so click share done now go to advanced sharing make sure there's a check mark and share this folder now go to permissions. We don't see Kyocera here, so let's add Kyocera. So that's a user, again, Kyocera. There's a user we created. Now make sure it's highlighted and make sure all three of these have a check mark. If you put a check mark on the first one, usually the second one applies. It just automatically adds it. So select apply and then okay and do it again, apply and okay. And uh, before we close it, Miles Envy is the name of my computer. You're going to see a different name on yours. Uh, that's the computer name. You could always confirm it by right clicking on the Windows Start, go to System, and you'll see that the device name is the same. Miles Envy. Okay. That's my computer name. And this is the name of the folder we created. So I'm just going to copy this whole thing. We're going to use it in just a second. And click Close. Close this. Now, uh, open up your browser, any browser you want, type in the IP address of your copier. 
that's going to take you to the back end of the machine and we're going to look for address book okay uh, I'm using an older model, a Task Alpha 2552 CI. If you're using a newer one, it's going to look a little different, but the process is the same. You just have to find where everything's at. Some machines may require you to log in as admin. If it does, the username and password's the same, which is admin with a capital A. So it's capital, oops, capital A, lowercase d-m-i-n. Same thing for the password, capital A, lowercase d-m-i-n and you'll select login okay so um my machine i don't have to do this but um if you do just log in so if you can get past this step then it sounds to me that somebody changed the login credential then unfortunately you're gonna have to call your dealer and have them reset that for you okay so i'm not going to log in since my address book is right here so i'm going to put my cursor over it select machine address book And we're going to add our first destination. So we're going to click Add. Look for SMB because we're scanning to an SMB shared folder. Now the host name is the computer name. Okay, so I'm just going to paste everything here. As you see, there's a couple uh, backslash, backslash in front of the computer name. I'm going to get rid of those. And then I'm going to take the name of the folder. I'm going to cut that. And there's one more backslash. I'm going to get rid of there. So now you're left with the host name, the computer name. Okay. Path is going to be the name of the folder that I created or you created. Login username is going to be the user you created, the new user you created for this computer, which is my, I created Kiosera. And the password is the password you, you gave that user. Now we're going to test it. Okay, cross your fingers and um, make sure that we get the connection okay. That's what we're looking for. If you get an error, then uh, you better, you know, that's when the troubleshooting begins. So now that you've done that, make sure you select submit. Don't forget this. Oh, you know what? It's saying required information is missing. Okay, I'm glad it said that. We're going to scroll to the top and we got to give it a name. This is a name that when you walk up to the copier, you'll know who you're scanning to. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to call it my computer. I don't have to put a cap. I'm going to put my computer. That's the name of the little folder on the copier, and I'll show you once we get to the copier, okay? So the name's there, and now you're going to select Submit, and it's going to go through. Okay, so now you can confirm that by waiting a second and um, select Address Book, Machine Address Book, and you should see there is a user right there, okay? So now, guys, for whatever reason, if you do get an error and it didn't pass, then... Um, the only thing I could think of is make sure that you got your network discovery sharing features on. That's very, very important. Otherwise, it won't work. There's several ways to get to that section. You can type in manage advanced and look for manage advanced sharing. It's going to take you to this screen here. Uh, if you can find it this way, uh, you can go here in the, in the bottom right corner and under your network uh, internet access right click whether it's uh, mine's wired so you see a little computer there icon yours might have a uh, wi-fi if you're using wi-fi just right click on this go to open network and internet settings scroll down a little till you get to network and sharing center go to advanced change advanced sharing settings and you're back to that same screen okay so we have three drop downs here you got to make sure that all three of these are turned on so starting with the first one just click on the down error make sure that you have turn on network discovery turn on file on printer sharing go to the next one do the same turn on network discovery turn on file on printer sharing lastly do this uh, same on the third one all networks uh, when public folder sharing make sure you turn this on you could leave this the way it is and you could either turn this on or off it doesn't matter it's not going to affect anything then you're going to click save change okay mine's grayed out because i haven't changed anything so there you go so now let's walk over to the copier and uh, send our first scan okay guys i'm here at the copier this is my home screen. If your screen doesn't look the same, just look for the little house button and just select home. So now we're going to go to send. We're going to select address book. And there's the folder I created, my computer. Going to put a check mark on that. Hit OK. 
And now I'm just going to scan anything. I'm going to go ahead and scan this. And I'm just going to hit the start button. And we're hoping there's no error messages here. And there wasn't, so we're good to go. Now let's go back to the computer and retrieve our scan. Okay, guys, I'm back to the computer here. We're going to open up our Curacera scans folder we created. And there you have it. There's the document I just scanned. So um, what I like to do here from here, I usually like to uh, right click on the folder and create a shortcut to the desktop. You can do that if you like or just leave it there. It's not going to move the folder, but it's going to create a shortcut. So it's always in your desktop for easy access. OK, so hopefully this video helps you out. Um, like the video, uh, if you will, and uh, leave comments and um, hopefully it works out for you. Thanks for watching, guys.